I'm Ian Blatchford, Director of the Science Museum Group, and I'm in an extraordinary building. You might think it's the Raiders of the Lost Ark set. It certainly is a treasure trove. It's the centre for our national collections, and I'm surrounded by tens of thousands of remarkable examples of science and engineering over many centuries. And in fact, as I speak, a whole team is uncreating an extraordinary painting. It's by Terence Cuneo, perhaps best known as the greatest railway artist of the 20th century. His epic canvas that we're about to see has been in storage for many years, but I'm here with his daughter, Carol, and we're going to look at that object, in my case, for the first time. And for her, I'm sure it's going to be a very sentimental reunion. Hello, Carol Cunio. So, what yeah. do you make of this? Do you think it's oh, big enough? Enormous, absolutely amazing. Uh, it's uh, stunning considering it's been put away so long. And, and it's been quite emotional. It to was, see it. definitely. The colours are still looking fantastic. The work that he put into that and the, you know, the, the, the perspective of everything is just amazing. So, Carol, the thing that I was fascinated to discover about this painting is it was actually painted in the Science Museum, that it took three men to stretch the canvas because the canvas is so enormous. Should we just look together yeah. at, at some of the extraordinary details in this picture? There's this hammer. I know. I mean, you really do feel that. Like you want to get hold of it. Yes, 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 and move it. And yeah. just look here, how, oh. how raw the, the, exactly. the impression yes. strokes are. Yes. This great chunk of yellow. Oh, yeah. So much of it is impressionist work. So, Carol, these yeah. remarkable pictures yeah. have never been seen in public before. Yeah. And the yeah. thing that's very striking about the picture is your father looks very dapper. But, but who's this character up on the scaffolding? This is Edmund Hockridge, the singer. He used to do pyjama game and carousel, etc. And Ted became extremely good friends with my father. He is an artist himself, so he came to help my father doing these large sort of scale things. Not the intricate stuff, but things like filling in. Well, we've been talking about the very serious background mm. to this picture, but I want to just go off on a rather amusing tangent. And in order to do that, I've got a very wonderful prop with me, because as I'm director of the World's Greatest Science Museum, I've also got with me the world's most expensive magnifying glass. Why don't you explain to me why we need this implement? And my father, since 1953, put a wee mouse in all his pictures. Here is the mouse. He's a beauty. That with a wonderful tail. Yes, oh, well, look at his paw. Fantastic. Oh. I'm just enjoying a few moments alone with this remarkable canvas. When I first knew about it, I was given a, a little black and white thumbnail sketch that made it look as if it was very small, so I'm rather overwhelmed by the scale of what's behind me. And I want to finish with one final example of classic Cuneo. I was talking earlier to Carol about this remarkable uh, image here of this, this worker with his cheerful face staring out from the canvas. And as I was about to leave this remarkable picture, I noticed a final brilliant trick, which is as I move across the face of the canvas, his face follows me. 